Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Elden Ring. We just swept this place. Just about everything to explore on this outer area has been explored, so I only have really three options. Go back to Volcano Manor, of course. Look for mini dungeons, which I intend to do right now, or go into the Royal Capital, which is the big dungeon. So I now have two big dungeons that I may access as I ride up a cliff and realize I need to ride down the cliff. But that's okay. See? Not so bad. Not so bad. I want to go about to where we fought the Draconic Tree Sentinel. It seems that this general area has three when I say general area, the capital outskirts has three mini dungeons. We've already explored one of them. Great arrow, hey. So now we're going to check the others. I don't know if I'm allowed to make that fall. That's a little better. I can go down, but is it what I want? It looks like I can go into the the northern mode. I've already gone into the southern mode. This place has seen better days. Where does this even take me? There's a building? We have a bear. Do you think the regular bear is good enough for this statue? I really hope it is, because if it's not, that implies I need the big one. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, because that means... I'll take this guy out to make the distraction go away. But now I'm nervous, because if this guy wasn't good enough to take this thing down... Shouldn't there be a, an even bigger bear? That's how that works, right? I mean, this is a mini dungeon, I found it. But now I'm just bothered by the statue. Is the big bear back here? Oh, yes it is. Hi. I might die, so uh, let's, let's do this quickly. The speed on this guy. All right, did it. So what's in the statue? Rats. That's fine. That's fine. Minus stone six, ladies and gentlemen. I've done it. Don't get grabbed. Now the mystery is can I get into the dungeon and not die? Sure I can. For a second, I'm opening a door. Don't mind me. And we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to beat the dungeon before I upgrade my sword, but I am very pleased. Okay, we reached the bottom. What's this place called now? Ariza Hero's Grave. Now, I really don't like the Hero's Graves, because two in a row have been death machines. Those have made me super mad.
Also, we immediately have a stone sword imp statue thing. It cost one. Nice, that was too slow. That's such a cool effect, though. It's so cool. Well, hopefully I learned my lesson, right? These guys and their death play, I swear. That should take care of the problem. Now, what were they guarding? Golden Epitaph, and that's a weapon? It's right next to the Ornamental Straight Sword. This thing requires 14 faith to wield. A sword made to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden, first of the demigods to die. Infused with the humble prayer of a young boy, O oh, brother, lord brother, please die a true death. And then last rites, raise the epitaph to grant the effect of sacred order to yourself and allies in the vicinity. Good against those who live in death. All right. Good start, good start. I don't like this hallway. I already don't like this. This is absolutely a track. Like, I'm not seeing the death machine moving, but you know it's happening. It just spawns in as a new one. See ya. How far down does it go? Ooh, not far enough. I'm gonna have to let it go up. Is there a place for me to hide? Hello? Oh, there is actually. I just go all the way. Oh my! Wait, I'm alive. Haha, <laughs> fools! Whoa! Oh, really? With the death light? That's more than a little annoying. If the chariot doesn't kill me, then the pit with death blight probably will. What a dangerous thing to do. Ugh, it goes up way too quickly. I can't believe I survived that fall at all, though. There, things were a little quieter, but now I'm scared. Where do I go? Whoa! Let me see this one. Too much death blight. Am I allowed to just leave? I can just get out? You've got to be kidding me with this. Now this is a scary dungeon. I almost died. If it's not the chariot, it's the freaking poison gas. Except I wish it was poison, because that would not instantly kill me. Ghost Glove War 5, I'll take that. Oh my god, come on now. I can't even get a good shot on him, because my death blight meter is so high. There we go. Grave Club War 5. Oh no, there's not two layers of these, are there? Oh, what a horror show. Stone Sword Key, I'll take that. Ghost Club War 6, that's not bad. Do not disturb me, thank you. 
Whoa, right overhead. Oh no, I got one bow comboed. Only one, but that's fine. Now I just gotta watch out for the other chariot. Here it is, right? Yikes. Uh, fan daggers. There's a chance I might need to just follow this thing. This thing sucks. Oh, here we go. This is about where I died. And I'm caught up just like that. That's all it takes. Now I can continue my journey. I can't wait. will have to do. Sorry. Actually, can I... Alright. That's something. That's something. That helps a little. Man, I do not like this. There's a body lying at the end there. Uh, really? Alright. Alright. This narrow little alcove. Let's go. There's no way they're getting me through this. The hell? You cannot be freaking... Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you see what I see? Didn't think I'd do that, did ya? Did ya? Holy grease. Boy, that sure is great. I can keep dropping. But wait. Oh, that's real nice. There's a basilisk, and that's it. Let's hurry, I'm not fighting on this terrain. Oh, he's got friends, but that's okay, I can kill the first one quickly. I really do like that if you hit enemies from behind when they genuinely do not know you're there, you seem to do far more damage. Okay, I'm a little bit safer. I see you. With your crazy bug eyes. No jumping now. Oh, he jumped. He was smart. Anyway. I'm being extra cautious here because these guys can cause death. Oh, here we go. This one was kind, though. It shows up right in front of me. Grave Glove War 5, and what's this? Vulgar Militia Ashes, really? I could summon those annoying little guys? Spirits of the Vulgar Militia who wield long-hafted, serrated hatchets. 
these brutal weapons are particularly effective at causing blood loss to opponents. In the lands between, the small were scorned, and so they formed their vulgar militia as a means to make a living, albeit in ignominy. Yeah, no kidding, they're just wandering around Kaled. Now, there's clearly a ladder here, but guess what? I am a crazy person, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, nuts. Alright, we're back. Now I have to fall on this very carefully because I'm coming off of a sloped platform and it's very annoying. Even that almost failed. This could be tricky. There's a freaking skeleton guarding this thing. Really? But that's alright. Right past him. Just throwing stuff at me. Devious. There's enough of that. And after all that, I found still a different ladder. Let's climb. I guess we're safe, it's just a tunnel. Another chariot. That's fast. Rats. You, you see what I'm trying to do. Maybe I could even duck and let this happen. I probably can, but I was a little too close for comfort. Ugh. Almost clips my head off, it's ridiculous. Alright, we're in. Oh, it raises it? Oh. Uh, did I want this? <laughs> now the important thing is not the fire trap itself, but was what was above it. Oh, I'm getting hit. Am I? No, they were kind. They were surprisingly kind. I'm gonna hide back here and see if I can jog past this thing. This might be a tall order. I don't even know if I can catch up to it. I don't see an alcove or anything. But I'll try this. I'll try this. I'm probably going to pay for this. There is nowhere to hide. Like, I don't know what they want from me for this. But that's alright. I found an escape. Skeletons in the tunnel. No big deal. I'm a little afraid of this guy with this buckler, because I think these guys can parry, so they were kind to just not do that. Guess I'll just go up. There's a lift here? I'll check that, but first... Is there anything this way? Uh, yes. Oh, come on. Well, I can still backstab the guy. Ugh. 
this actually is going very well. That's the end of that. Crucible Feather Talisman. Improves dodge rolling, but increases damage taken. Oh wait, I should look at the description for it. Yeah, feathers instead of a bony knot that have the aspects of various creatures. A vestige of the crucible of primordial life, born partially of devolution, it was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but is now increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. Okay. Those chariots, man, those things suck. Now I'll take the elevator up. Hey, nothing behind me, just forward. Hey look, it's the flame trap. I raised it all the way here, and fortunately nobody felt like ambushing me in that alcove. Nothing here either. Great Love War 6. Great Dragonfly Head. Wow. Worth it. This is the way I want to go. This is the two slopes downward, isn't it? I love that I got hit by the thing but didn't get knocked over. What? 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 Why did that happen? What? What? Alright, well unfortunately we didn't get to see it. But when I raised the flame pillar, it raised the sigil, uh, the sigil to spawn the chariots, and it got the chariots to crash into each other, which quote killed them all. That's why I got that stuff. I didn't see it happen, so it's suddenly just oh, like you got all this stuff, isn't that cool? Tree Sentinel helm, golden helm of the heavy cavalry tree sentinels who serve the earth tree. Very few are permitted to wear a golden wood crest of such size as seen on this helm. Hey, look, finally. Better armor. And it doesn't even weigh more. Although it will reduce my equipment burden, won't it? Now that I think about it. Yeah, it reduces my equip load by a little bit. That's a little distressing. We'll see if I maybe change the helm off. Maybe I could wear the other Tree Sentinel stuff. Yeah, this is getting to heavy load territory. Versus... That's very heavy. Adorned with a cape featuring the mark of the sacred tree. Imposingly sturdy and nigh unbreakable, the grace of old yet lingers. Maybe I will go back for the other stuff and I'll just pump my endurance. But this is good stuff. That stuff is heavy. This one's only a little heavier. And it's not even really better, that's disappointing. This is completely better, except for weight. I'll do that. And that is just not happening. Alright. Oh yes, and the Ash of War. Excuse me. It was some bright picture. Flaming Strike? No. Holy Ground on Shields. Ray shield to create an earth tree consecrated area that continuously restores HP and boosts defense for self and allies inside it. All shields, that's not bad. Okay, now I can just take my sweet time. This was the slope that there was no way I was making it past. Oh, uh, well! Theoretically, maybe I could have, actually, but now it's easier. This is where that thing spawned in. Oh well. And because that was so hard, I don't even need a lever to unlock this door. I could just push it open. It's 
Steak of America, that's good. Skeletons, let's just not. Let's just not. Two Crucible Knights, that's very cool. Guess I'll die. Oh, how much do they chase? How good are they at chasing? Better than I'd like, honestly. Alright, this is the part where I can't die. Excuse me for a second. See what I mean? Crucible Knight, and a Crucible Knight with a name. You know it would be really neato if my Mimic tier would get on this. This guy has health. I might actually need to leave the dungeon and upgrade my sword and come back. Because having two of these guys with a crazy dragon wing ability, that's gonna suck. Oh nice, couldn't get the plunge. And I really like it when he attacks me while I'm in my healing animation. I'm just kidding, I don't like it when he does that. Oh, my Mimic here is going to die. This is real bad. Oh, my Mimic here is dead. I don't think I'm allowed to summon him again. But you know what I am allowed to do? No, no, I'm not. Never mind. Alright, fine. Guess we're just not doing that. What? Damn. Well, the good news is that I upgraded my broadsword to plus 20, so with any luck, that'll get me the edge I need. As long as I can heal before this guy immediately kills me. There we go. There we go. Easy every time. Nice. Nice. Swordsman was coming my way. Now I don't know who to attack, because... The little guy with the spear should go down first for sure, because then there's only one knight to deal with. This guy's way weaker than his friend. But at the same time, the big guy is far, far more dangerous. And he's beating the crap out of my friend. So maybe I should go for him, actually. However, if my little buddy wants to go after the spearman... I don't know what the hell he wants. Good fight! Good fight! Guess I'm going after the Spearman first, especially because he could fly now. I, he, he just plain missed! That was silly. He just outright missed. Ugh, don't get caught by that. I actually really don't want to catch these guys both at the same time. Because worst case scenario is they both go dragon form. And that's bad. What would also be nice is if they would... Stop matching each other's speed. Like, I don't need them both at the same place. Don't get hit by that. I think this is just what I'm going to have to settle for, is individual strikes. This sucks. They're both running at the same time. Like, this is ridiculous. Get the hell out of here. You like that dodge roll timing, though? I am paying attention. Okay, here. This is the guy. Nope. Never mind. He decided to do a slow attack. This is good. This is good. Sure would be nice if I could get a hold of a spear guy without the sword guy just tagging me whenever he feels like it. See, now this can work. Good enough. That's as good as it's going to get. 
And for the love of God, do not get hit by that. Freaking sword guy, or Dovis, just go away. I want spear guy, not you. This is more than a little irritating. I'm attracting the wrong guy. But this, this could work if spear guy decides to do something. Did I block it? Good enough. Good enough, good enough. Oh my goodness. That was actually terrifying. Even if I get hit. That was very scary. Sword guy is really making me mad. And the sword guy is the one with the big tail whip attacks too. It's gonna suck when I get him to low health. Ugh. Sword guy's trolling with the surprisingly long reach, even though he's not the one with the spear. Ugh. Uh, bad idea. <laughs> I tried. And of course that hits me. That's very good and not bad. Sword guy is really making me mad. It doesn't help that he's too strong. This is good. Don't get hit by that. Two more really good shots, and I got an unnamed Crucible Knight. I need to leave now. That absolutely should have killed me. Freaking sword guy, go away. I need other Crucible Knight to dragon swoop at me. That's what I need. Dragon swoop at me, damn you. Not that move. I want the other energy move, where you leap in the air- yeah! Okay, now for the hard part! A reach on this guy. Good enough. This is how this fight's gonna go. I'm just kinda hoping you would cut through the pillar, honestly. This is good again. Ugh. Really? Oh, good. Oh, real good. I dodged an hour early, but he let me have that. He still is over half health. Can you believe this guy? I, I rolled an hour early for that one. This sucks. I wanted to dive in, but he knows how to tail whip. Very good and not annoying. Yeah, more of that combo, please. One, two. One, go away. Oh, this is good. One. I want that double spin combo. That left him open. Stomp and the double spin, right? This'll do. It should be scary that he has that new special move, but it actually is one of the easiest things to exploit in this fight, which is kind of silly. let that one sit. This is very scary. I only have two healing flasks, and one, two, and uh, 
I can't even guarantee that I'll get to use them because this guy is quicker than he has a right to be. See? I was going to go in for the shot, but that would have been bad. One. Ah, oh, nuts. Ah, that chip. That holy chip. This fight is the worst. The better I do, the more stressed I get. One. Oh, this is good. Uh, no, it's not. That. Oh, thank God. All right. I only have one opportunity left. Actually, let me dodge that one. One more good hit and we're done, ladies and gentlemen. This fight was horrible. Oh, thank goodness. This took me a lot of tries. Ordovus's great sword and the crucible set. You're damn right. That was awful. Feels good, man. Wow. That was pressure. Helm of the Crucible Knights who served Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The axe ornamentation is the Knight Ordovus's mark. Yeah. Displayed also by his men. Holds the power of the Crucible of Life, the primordial form of the Erd Tree. Strengthens aspects of the Crucible incantations. In time, the strength shown by these knights and even their appearance was seen as chaotic and deserving of scorn. Okay. And his sword. Man, that was tough. It was a great sword, right? Ordovices. One of the two honored as foremost among the Crucible Knights. This sword is imbued with an ancient holy essence. Its red tint exemplifies the nature of primordial gold, said to be close in nature to life itself. And it has Ordovus's vortex, which is that thing where you spin the sword, build momentum, slam it down on the ground. We saw that. My goodness, that was hard, even with a plus 20 broadsword. That was hard. Let's get out of here. I guess I'll pick up my knot runes, why not? Goodbye. And we're back on the capital outskirts. That was scary. Although I am on the lower end, aren't I? I think I want to get back to the upper end. I'll see what happens. I'll follow the road. And I know this is a different road. Don't know how much it helps. I'll avoid the big rune bear if I can. Oh, maybe this is exactly what I'm looking for. Too many dungeons right next to each other. How convenient. R is a side tomb. Nice and easy. Let's knock out these mini dungeons for this installment. So, skeletons or imps? Or jars? What? This is a yellow lid instead of a red one. Well, there's your problem. There's your problem. They detonate. Ugh, gross. We have a new type of living jar enemy. Grave Glove War 6. I definitely. 
definitely heard footsteps. I guess I'll get the grave violet as well. <laughs> really? A transporter trap? It's been a while. What is this? Does it take me back? Well, there's the lever, I'm assuming, to open the boss door. I strangely do not see anyone in ambush. Oh, yes I do. Yes I do. Wow, really came out swinging. Grave Glove Ward 6, though. I heard something. Oh, that's another imp. Two imps. Alright, that shut them up. And Grave Glove Ward 5. Otherwise, it looks like the area is clean. Oh, nuts. We're really doing this. Oh, that's great. Let me hide for a second. Just what I need. Oh, jeez. Startled me a bit. I guess the other imp is not going to chase me, but who cares? We have another guy throwing pots. Oh, whoops. I still have my horse summoner equipped. Okay. Yikes. Still can't insta-kill him. But that wasn't bad. Really? Oh no! Actually scary. This won't be so bad. Freaking jars. Cracked pot. Perfumer's Cookbook 3, alright. Iron Jar Aromatic. Another cracked pot. Okay, I'm on the other side of that gate. I guess I have to go back the way I came. That's the gimmick. chest. Oh no. When do they blow up? When they dive. 
they can actually time their detonations. That's impressive. Alright, that was it. Golden rune. That's how I got up here. Actually one shot that one. But then again, he wasn't expecting me. Oh. Wait a second. Yeah, I'm not even bothered. Hang on a second. That was where the lever was. This this was the boss door lever. Yeah, and this guy's back. And so is the Grave Glove Ward, for that matter. You alive? Yes, you are. What the hell? Oh, great. That really hurt. Virtual pot. And brute resin. Ugh. See, it turns out this dungeon isn't quite what it seems. It's two nearly identically structured dungeons. Nothing has respawned here. I'm in a same looking room, which is actually pretty brilliant. See that? I have not looted that room. Let's use the chest. No ambush here, but no imp body either. Look at that, two little living jars. Ghost Glove Ward 6, I'll take- oh, I'll take that. Whoops, it was that kind of living jar. Cracked pot. And you're done, goodbye. And another cracked pot. Double the looting. And there's a ladder, that's a different one.
And this is where I was supposed to be the whole time. How cool is that? Now I've cleared both dungeons, except for the boss door that's in one of the dungeons. Let's see if I even know how to get back. Enemies stay dead, so this should be easy as long as I don't get lost in a maze. Don't worry, that never happens to me. Did I never fight? Okay, well, I did say I thought I heard footsteps earlier. There they were. Hey, first try. Let's try the Grace Mimic again. Grave Warden Duelist. Very scary the first time I fought him. But this time I have a great shield. This was the guy that I was able to just parry to death. But look at what little damage he's doing to my great shield. And when there's a second one of me with a plus 20... Oh. Okay. Broadsword. Who's going after adds? I'm okay with this. I like that they have the boss of death explosion animation. <laughs> Alright, now we can concentrate on the duelist himself. Look at this. This is great. This is great. This is just great. This fight's just about over. Done. Sold jars of fortune. Really? Three little living jar spirits. And summoning them consumes HP instead of FP. These reckless spirits sacrifice themselves to vanquish their summoner's foes and explode upon death. That that can be useful, actually. I like having other targets for the bosses to go after, but their explosions are pretty potent. Though their bravery is admirable, their explosions can harm friend as well as foe, and they will also immediately explode on contact with fire. Tell the others. Tell them how brightly a fire jar burns. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, well, we got them. That's so stupid. But anyway, now that we've beaten the dungeon, we can just leave. In fact, I'll actually take the traditional exit because I'm going to head into Landell. Back to the capital outskirts, let us finish our little journey by just heading around a little bit, if I'm able to. I might have to climb a cliff for this, which would be a little unfortunate. If I have to teleport, then I will, but ah, I hope not. I will say that dungeon, oh, how convenient, was more confusing than the other one, but easier to execute. And that boss was definitely easier. Those two Crucible Knights were the worst. Man, it would have been nice to have known about that spring earlier, but now we can loop around to where the Draconic Tree Sentinel used to be. Wait, did I? Maybe I did activate that. And there's a Snake of America immediately next to it. I mean, of course I did summon during the fight, but I was just thinking, like, did I activate that? Yeah, there was a side of Grace right here. Welcome, everyone, to the beginning of the big dungeon. Thank goodness. I'm still farther away from the assassination target that I would like, but that's alright. Welcome to Capital Rampart. 
and for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We pretty much swept the capital outskirts. Everything's been taken care of, at least that is possible to take care of at this point, so all that's left to do is tackle one of two big dungeons. We're going to do a little bit of both, I think, but we're starting with Landell. This ought to be impressive. Until next time, everyone.